Vitamin K or phytonidion is very important for the coagulation process as it plays a major role in the ca coagulation cascade and in the production of the coagulation enzymes. It also plays major roles in the function of the coagulation enzymes as a coenzyme or cofactor. So its whole function revolves around being important for coagulation. The recent studies shows that vitamin K plays some role that, it, that appears to be important in the bone health and bone maturation. So apparently it's also good for the bones. One very important note about vitamin K is that it's mainly matured or produced by the bacteria in the gut. Although we do consume the precursors or the immature vitamin K from the foods, the maturation process that makes vitamin K absorbable and readily usable happens in the gut by the gut bacteria. So if there is anything affecting the bacteria in the gut, such as somebody having certain conditions or someone who's taken a large amount of antibiotics for a long time, or newborns because they don't have gut bacteria, all of these people will have deficiency in vitamin K over time. And this is especially important for the newborns as they can have easy bleeding. And this mainly presents when they are cutting off the umbilical cord. As we vaccinate newborns, we often give them a small dose of vitamin K to help this deficiency. The deficiency symptoms are what you'd expect. The patient will have prolonged bleeding and easily bruising. And whenever they have any bleeding anywhere, it will take longer to heal and longer to form a clot. And because of the relation to the bone health, the patient might have some osteoporosis or osteopenia, which is a thinning of the bone. The main sources are green leafy vegetables, soybeans, fortified foods, natto, which is quite popular in Japan and requires some very delicate acquired taste, but mainly in the green leafy vegetables. The recommended daily intake ranges from 90 to 120 micrograms a day. Use the link below to get access to the full Essential Vitamins and Minerals course. In this course, we will talk about all the vitamins, the minerals, their important functions and deficiency symptoms. At the end of the course, you will be an expert in vitamins and essential minerals, as the course covers everything that you need to know.